arguments. More than ever, teachers and schools are asking students at all levels to construct and evaluate arguments. Whether those arguments be in writing or speaking, students will be asked to construct their own arguments, evaluate the arguments of others, and provide counterclaims for arguments that are presented. This can be challenging for a student at any level, but thankfully the application of a little bit of logic will make this challenge easier. Today we'll learn about using the Toulmin model to structure and evaluate arguments. The Toulmin model is a method for outlining an argument before you write it. But unlike some outlines, this one only requires three sentences. Those three sentences are powerful, though, and they can help you focus a major argument paper or a short argument discussion. They can help you in a debate or in a research argument presentation. Step-by-step -step guide in this video can help you develop a Toolman model of your own. From that model, you can develop your paper or discussion in more detail. Do not forget this is a video, so if it goes too fast, pause it, rewind it, review it, take notes as you watch the video, and ultimately exercise the concepts within the video through application in your own Toolman model. Let's take constructing the Toolman model step by step. Start with the claim sentence. The claim is the sentence stating the action you propose. You will propose some sort of action, some idea that you want to see take place in the world. It could be an idea that has not yet taken place, or it could be one that you, is currently taking place that you endorse. You may want to change a school policy or your parents' rules. You may wish to change the way people in society act. Regardless of your specific idea, the argument aims for some action, and this is stated in the claim. The claim consists of two parts, the responsible party and the action. Basically, ask yourself what action you want and who can do it. For instance, if you wish every student in the school had their own computer, you might write, provide computers to every student as your action. And if you think to yourself, who can carry this out? Well, it's not the student, but the school. Filling in your specific school would be the appropriate responsible party. Providing computers would be the action. And when you pair these two together, you get the claim sentence. In this case, McCord Junior High School should provide every student with a computer. This is what you propose. This is your claim. You are saying that this responsible party should take this action. That's the first step of the Toolman model, the first sentence of three, and you're one-third of the way done. Next, you'll write the warrant sentence. The warrant states the reason why you want this action. It will state a value that you think the action will achieve. The warrant also consists of two parts, one you already have, the responsible party. Add to it the value you believe the action will achieve. So, we already have the responsible party of McCord Junior High School, and we should ask, why do we want computers in every student's hand in McCord Junior High School? Maybe you believe the computers will help students prepare themselves for modern careers, most of which require computer literacy. So, your value might be preparing students for modern careers. Can you find another value? Sure, but let's focus on only one right now. So, here are the two parts. The responsible party is McCord Junior High School, and the value is preparing students for modern careers. Just as in the claim sentence, you pair these together, and you receive the warrant. McCord Junior High School should prepare students for modern careers. That sentence flows together just as the claim sentence did, bridged by the word should. McCord Junior High School should prepare students for modern careers, being your warrant sentence, is the second of three sentences in the Toolman model, and if you've reached this point, you are two-thirds of the way done. Let's go to the last step, which is to write the grounds sentence. The grounds sentence proposes your evidence, and writing it is simple. You already have both parts, because this sentence pairs the action with the value. Basically, this statement explains that the action will achieve the value. It goes like this. Providing computers to every student will prepare them for modern careers. The action begins the sentence, and the value ends it. Notice that the word should does not appear this time, and this is correct. That word will appear in the claim and warrant, but not the grounds. This is the third of three sentences, and your Toolman model is finished. So, here's what we have. 
you are proposing that McCord Junior High School provide computers to every student. You're saying this is an action that they should take because McCord Junior High School should prepare its students for modern careers and providing computers to every student will prepare them for modern careers. This is a logically intact argument, a three-line argument, also known as a syllogism. In order to propose a claim and support it, you propose these two sentences, the warrant and grounds, carefully constructed, and you have a logical basis for argumentation. Furthermore, you have a map, an outline, of the further discussion or paper to come. Before we proceed into any sort of development of your own, let's discuss a few qualities of the model. Do not forget that each of the three terms, responsible party, action, and value, only appears twice. If you see any appear more than twice, you have made a mistake. The word should appears in the claim and value, but not the grounds. Look for the word will in the grounds. Many words and phrases will reappear identically, but some will be rewritten slightly. For instance, the responsible party will appear identically in the claim and warrant, but the action will be reworded slightly when it moves to the grounds. Now that you understand how to develop a Toolman model, do it for your own argument.